Hey you guys, Enter the Hunter. Just got through spending about two hours in uh, Cranberry Mountain. Uh, it is a little bit of a not that great of conditions. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but basically the truck is starting to get covered in snow. I was up here uh, night hunting uh, and whatnot. Did hear an uh, interesting uh, howl that didn't quite sound like a dog. Uh, and the trees behind me, of course, uh, turned around and whatnot. I heard it a couple of more times. That's early when I was trying to make a little bit of a video for you guys showing you the field. And I'm starting to get a little cold, so I started leaving my, I have, uh, multi three layers on the, on the core temp and everything. Uh, I got my camo shirt, uh, sweatshirt from earlier, a, uh, light, uh, liner section of a winter jacket, as well as a base layer thermal. And the pants are base layer thermal and my hunting pants. Uh, boots are uh, winter boots uh, with the liners and winter socks. So basically, uh, it's the flash doesn't want to work on the camera, so it's cold enough for that. But I was all right. I kept moving perfectly fine. So it was definitely interesting checking the place out. Uh, but it's just really not a good night for night hunting. I didn't even really do much calling. I attempted to do a little bit with a coyote, but he probably took off when he, when I just failed because I had my gloves on and I didn't really do the call right. So he, he probably just like, oh, this guy's an imposter. Uh, let's not talk with him. Uh, but uh, if it was a coyote, just they, uh, it sounded like it started like a, almost like a dog howl, but it had sort of an odd whine to it. It's just not uh, not quite right. Uh, for a dog, at least didn't sound like it, but it wasn't a coyote hunting call, at least like it was up at the, uh, up, uh, on the private property I hunt, uh, over on the cliff. That was, uh, a little startling, the, the, the kind of whining and, uh, and yelping and stuff that they do and, and whatnot, it, it startled me a bit. I had never heard it before, so, but, uh. Definitely interested in checking the place out, and uh, maybe tomorrow or after stuff clears. It's not too far from Wappinger, so uh, it's 3F. It's next to 3F, basically. I think it is, anyway. Either way, it's a uh, part of, I guess, Duchess, but it's the right half of it when you're looking at the New York map. Uh, so it's in that upper portion of it too, I think, or lower or something. Either way, it's considered a little section of it. And it's, it seems like some interesting, nice, well-maintained property. And it would be interesting to come over here and do some small game and other stuff like that. And it, unlike other areas like Stewart State Forest, you can actually utilize your rifles and stuff like that. Uh, deer season is closed. You can use any damn rifle size you want during deer season, 22 or smaller. Um... Uh, there's Bobcat up here, which that season's closed February 15th. Uh, there's still, uh, for now, uh, Raccoon, Opossum, Fox, and then into, I think, March is Coyote. So we'll be checking this place out uh, a little bit more frequently. And it's not as much of a drive as Stewart State Forest, and it seems a lot better suited. I've already been up and down mountains multiple times, so I think Cranberry Mountain is definitely going to be our next spot. Uh, so... Hopefully we'll be getting some good footage of the place, and uh, take care, y'all. Bye.